evening and welcome to the Chris Alcedo Show here on Newsmax TV. I pray you had a blessed Easter and that time with you and your family, your friends, every bit the celebration of hope that Christians have traditionally undertaken. The fake Catholic, Joe Biden, was busy and addressed the nation in a message that was released on Easter. It was an odd Easter message. Mr. Biden never once used the name Jesus Christ in his message, but he and Mrs. Biden mentioned the China virus seven times. There's a reason why this is done. Uh, one name engenders hope, the other engenders fear. And trust me when I tell you, socialists love Americans living in fear, compliant with the left wing's ever-present, ever-changing edicts and directives. Fear keeps people in line, and that's exactly where the control freaks in the left want all of you. Biden is also expressing his support for the latest attack being launched in the economic war against Americans. Major League Baseball has announced it will pull the All-Star game and the draft out of Georgia. This is being done in retaliation against Georgians and their support of restoring election integrity. Biden fully supports this economic attack on the red state of Georgia. So much for being an occupier of the Oval Office for all Americans. Hmm? The question remains, what will we, the people, do in response to these attacks? An economic war has been launched against us. Will you fight? or surrender? That's the question we ask in tonight's preamble. First things first, for those of you who su support voter ID and placing a deterrence in, in place to, to stop cheating at the ballot box, you are not alone. According to the Associated Press, nearly three in four Americans support voter ID. That means it's the tyrannical minority, the Democrat Socialist Party, and those in these boardrooms of these woke corporations who are the overwhelming minority in this country. The bonehead commissioner of baseball, Robert D. Manfred, said this about voting integrity laws. Quote, Major League Baseball fundamentally supports voting rights for all Americans and opposes restrictions to the ballot box. What? He opposes restrictions that prevent foreign nationals from voting. He opposes restrictions that stop ballot box stuffing. He opposes restrictions that prevent the dead from voting. Any sane person supports every American's right to vote. But people with half a brain, which seems to eliminate Mr. Manfred there, also know that we have a right not to have our legal votes canceled out by ineligible votes. Mr. Manfred's statement is as contradictory as it is stupid. Given his statement, why would any American give their hard-earned disposable income to Major League Baseball? Is such stupidity worthy of your support? Forget about how dumb Major League Baseball is. What about their support for racism? slavery, and the nation that intentionally unleashed the China virus on the world. That's right. Major League Baseball does business with the Communist Party of China. MLB attacks the fellow, their fellow Americans and then embraces China, the very same China that is full of avowed racists against blacks, full of those who undertake the enslavement of millions, and a country that has killed millions of others worldwide in that unnecessary pandemic. Florida Senator Marco Rubio noted Joe Biden's and Major League Baseball's values when he tweeted, at MLB caves to pressure and moves draft and all-star game out of Georgia. On the same week, they announced a deal with a company backed by the genocidal Communist Party of China. Why are we still listening to these woke corporate hypocrites on taxes, regulations, and antitrust? That's a very good question. Here's another good question. What do Americans love more, MLB's game or our country. President Trump has called for Americans to hit back in response to MLB's economic attack. But it's not just Major League Baseball that's using their economic power to punish Americans. Delta Airlines, Un-American Airlines, and the Coca-Cola Company have also decried the overwhelming majority of Americans' desire to have free and fair elections. With Un-American Airlines and Delta, it's even worse, my friends. We begged we pleaded with President Trump not to bail out these woke companies after they declared their support for the ongoing violence that BLM continues to dish out in the streets of America. But in the last administration, our tax dollars, 25 billion of them, were given to these undeserving companies. And look what they're doing with it, trying to thwart honest and fair elections. For crying out loud, the Wall Street Journal just named American Airlines the worst airline in the United States for the second year in a row. It's not like they're out there earning our disposable income or our tax dollars. 
They're one of the most poorly run companies in the United States, run by entitled leftists who have gone on record opposing our traditional American values. I've never subscribed to boycotts. I thought they were ultimately self-defeating, but I'm no longer inclined to sit out and allow woke corporations with their cancerous cancel culture to launch economic boycotts against us and let them get away with it. They have not earned our business. Have they not earned suffering, though, the same suffering they're imposing on the rest of the country? We're not launching a boycott here. We're responding to a boycott. My friends, i like to ask all of you to get this preamble off of Newsmax TV's social media pages and make sure this gets shared in your circle of friends and family because we have to reach the majority of Americans with our message. No longer can these little leftists in these corporate offices be allowed to undertake their anti-American activism and not pay a price for it. Think about this. There isn't anything you and I can legally do about Biden's multiple crises at the border, right? He's got control over the government. Liberals don't listen to the people, so our government is lost to us. For now, we can't stop the socialists' lawlessness. But we can control. What can we control? We can control how we spend our disposable income. If three-fourths of this country stopped patronizing Major League Baseball, stopped flying American Airlines, stopped flying Delta Airlines, stopped buying Coke products, we would no longer be voluntarily funding companies that don't share our values of freedom, liberty, and fairness. We are not helpless. We can dish out what these left-wing CEOs and their woke companies deserve. And woe to you politicians who vote to take our tax money and give it to these companies in a bailout once they get their just desserts. An economic war has been launched against us by woke corporations, but this is a war that we can win. So are you going to fight? Are you going to surrender? Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.